Alright guys, time for another good workout and we're going to start with a nice little warm up. So we've got five, five, five. So five Cossack squats on your left, then five air squats, five Cossack squats on your right. Run through this one or two times depending on how tight you are. Then you're going to go into two sets, <clears throat> five single arm kettlebell swings each side. You're then going to do ten glute bridges, then five single arm snatches each side, and then ten single leg glute bridges. All right, So that's either five each side or ten each side if you want to add in some extra reps. You're then going to go to ten alternating lunges, ten overhead sit-ups, ten front rack lunges each leg, then ten sit-ups with the overhead. Then you're going to do 10 overhead lunges on your right and on your left hand side. <clears throat> you're then going to go move through into your main. So you're going to do 8, 6, 4, 2 of either overhead sit ups and overhead lunges, or if you are able to do Turkish get ups, Turkish get ups is the preferred option. You're then going to do 16, 12, 8, 4 of press ups, then 32, 24, 16, and 8 of mountain climbers. So you'll do 8 Turkish get ups. 16 press ups, 32 mountain climbers, then you go 6, 12 and 24, 4, 8, 16, 2, 4 and 8 and work through the workout like so. You're then going to go into your conditioning. This is a test of grip work and, uh, and hip strength. So we're going to go 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of sit ups, lunges and kettlebell swings. See if you can get through those kettlebell swings unbroken and you'll make up loads of ground there. Enjoy this workout guys. My movement video is coming up next, and uh, have a great day. Alright guys, so time to get ready for today's workout. Uh, we're going to start just by opening out the hips. So we're going to look at five Cossack squats to the left hand side. Okay, You can turn that toe up today if you want to, and then you're just going to push back up to the top. Turn the toe, but making sure the shoulders and the hips are staying square on all the time. Okay, You're going to do five on one side, then you're going to do five air squats, then you're going to lead into your other side and you're going to do five on that side as well, making sure that we're pushing back up nice and tall, nice and smooth, okay? Run through one to two sets of that, whatever feels comfortable, and you should just open out the hips. You're then going to go on to a little bit of loaded work. So we're going to do uh, single arm swings to start with, with some glute bridges, some snatches and some more glute bridges, okay? So you're going to do five Single arm swings, each arm, nice and smooth, watch down five, swap over at the top, and then you're going to do a further five reps, okay? You're then going to go down onto the floor, and you're going to do your glute bridges. So, feet onto the floor, hips nice and tight, lower back press down, drive up towards the ceiling or the sky, and then push from there, okay? Make sure the feet are driven hard into the floor, squeezing the glutes and the hamstrings up at the top. From there, you're then going to go into five snatches each side. So you're going to go from that hip position, straight up to the top, come back down, punch up, five one side, swap over, and five on the other side. Okay? Nice and steady. From there, you're then going to go back into your glute bridge, but you're going to do single leg glute bridges this time. And you're going to do five on each leg. Making sure, remember, that we're rolling from the top here rather than just dropping the hips and getting an arch through the back. We're rolling from the top of the spine all the way back down. Okay? And you're going to run through two sets of all of that and then you should be good to go. So you're then going to go into a little bit of warm up for your midline. So you're going to do. 10 bodyweight lunges, all right? You're just going to alternate the legs, all right? Nice and steady. So 10 reps in total. You're then going to do 10 overhead sit-ups, okay? So you're going to take those hands over your head. You're going to draw upwards up to the top. Gently roll back down and then repeat. Just keeping those arms pressing up all the time. From there, you're then going to take any load that you've got and you're going to go in a front rack position, all right? And you're going to do front rack lunges, all right? You're going to do 10 on your right hand side. Once you've done 10, swap over 10 on 
for your left hand side, okay? Nice and steady through those, no particular pace, just move well. You're then going to repeat another 10 overhead sit-ups and then you're going to go back to your kettlebell and you're going to do 10 single arm overhead lunges, okay? So again, 10 reps with the right arm and right leg, then swap over, 10 reps with left arm, left leg, okay? Nice and smooth. And you're going to just go through that one round just the once and that should open you up. So that's 10 bodyweight lunges, 10 sit-ups with your arms overhead, 10 front rack lunges, 10 sit-ups with the arms overhead, and then 10 overhead lunges, okay? From there, you're then going to move into your main piece. And I'm going to go through our movements and then this is all explained in the uh, workout description beforehand. So I'm just going to hit the movements here. So you've got overhead sit-ups and overhead lunges each leg. So you're going to take that uh, weight with you and you're going to go up to the top, come down and drive up and back down. Okay. Then you've got overhead lunges and it's going to be 10 lunges each leg. So you can take the, plate, the weight above the head, nice and steady. You're going to do 10 or so those lunges each side. Okay, nice and smooth. All right. Now, if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell and you can do Turkish get-ups, we're going to we'd preferably ask you to do Turkish get-ups. So the sit-ups and the lunges are an option if you don't uh, have the ability to do Turkish get up. So our Turkish get up will be a nice smooth movement from the floor all the way to the top. So we'd start down with that kettlebell kind of down the floor, and then you're going to roll over, one foot bent in, so the same as the kettlebell, the other leg out to the side. And then you're going to press the bell up towards the ceiling, hand out to the side, and then you're going to roll up onto the elbow, push up onto the hand, hips up, sweep the leg through. You're then going to drop the hip back to the heel, bring the hand in, hips up, swing the leg round to the front, and stand. You're then going to reverse lunge, open out this front leg, hand to the hip and the thigh, down to the knee, push the hand away, swing forwards with that leg, down to the floor, to the elbow, and then back down. You'll then bring the kettlebell down safely to the floor, hail around, and then repeat on the other side, okay? So that is your best option, ideally, if we can. If not, then we're going to do those overhead lunges and uh, sit-ups, okay? Once you've done those for your reps that we've given you, you're then going to do a set of press-ups. So remember, three options. Chest to floor, onto your knees, or you've got your snaking press-up. Okay, once we've done that, your third movement is then going to be a mountain climber. So you're going to stay in that plank position, the knee is going to come up to the elbow each and every rep, and you're going to do your amount of reps in that mountain climber nice and steady. Okay, so remember, refer back to the rep scheme uh, in the workout description, and you should be really good to go with that. You're then going to go on to your final workout, guys. Okay. We're going to look for sit-ups, lunges, and swings. We're going to do 50 sit-ups, 50 lunges, 50 swings, then 40 of each, 30 of each, 20 of each, and then 10 of each. Super simple movements, guys. Remember, sit-ups, touch the floor behind, come up and touch the feet in front, nice and steady, okay? Just make sure that we're driving hard down to that lower back, we're using those arms to get us over, and sitting up nice and tall at the top. You've then got lunges, okay, so just bodyweight lunges. You can take a load with you if you so wish. The choice is entirely up to you. You're then going to go onto your kettlebell swings. Nice height position, hinge into the hips, snap out and away, and you're going to hit your reps through those. So remember, sit-ups, lunges, swings, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10 reps of each one. Enjoy this one, guys. See if you can go unbroken on those kettlebell swings, and you'll be good to go. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.